eight Philippine naval ships now armed with missiles, MKU to provide army with ballistic helmets, please like and share the video, and subscribe to the channel, the official Facebook page of the BRP Jose Rizal or FF-150 frigate of the Philippine Navy recently posted pictures of their celebrations for the second commissioning anniversary of the vessel, and in one picture, it showed the ship is now also armed with Sea Star anti-ship missiles. Its sister ship the BRP Antonio Luna or FF-151 was the first vessel confirmed to be armed with the Sea Star missiles before its departure to Hawaii to join the Rim of the Pacific or RIMPAC exercise as I had posted a video about. Now that it is confirmed that the BRP Jose Rizal is also armed with missiles, for the first time in its entire history, the Philippine Navy now has a total of eight vessels armed with missiles. Two of them are the Jose Rizal class vessels consisting of the BRP Jose Rizal and the BRP Antonio Luna armed with Sea Star missiles and Mistral 3 surface to air missiles or SAMs. The other six are the boat attack Mark III craft consisting of vessels with hull numbers BA 488 to BA 494 armed with spike extended range or spike ER missiles. So what a major milestone for the Philippine Navy, with several more missile armed vessels coming in the next several years. Meanwhile, the Department of National Defense recently posted on their website the notice of award or NOAA to the Indian company MKU Limited for the acquisition of 47,584 ballistic helmets for the Philippine Army. I first posted a video about the acquisition of these helmets back last year in August of 2021, good to see that after almost a year it is finally moving forward towards being a reality. The contract price to be signed with MKU is worth 1.077 billion Philippine pesos, or around 19.2 million United States dollars assuming an exchange rate of 56 pesos per dollar. This is lower by 112,000 pesos or $2,000 than the budget for the project which is 1.189 billion pesos or $21.2 million. The helmets will be split into 41,584 standard ballistic helmets or the full-cut type and 6,000 special operations ballistic helmets or high-cut type which will be resistant to at least 0.357 SIG and 0.45 caliber ammunition. All the helmets are to be delivered in four separate deliveries within five years upon the effectivity of the contract. A look at MKU's official website shows that they are offering quite a number of ballistic helmets under their Carvro brand but no mention was made in the notice of award on what particular model will be supplied to the Philippine Army. MKU does have a number of proprietary or patented technology that they developed on their own, like their macromatrix technology, which they claim are able to maintain uniform consistency in the protection quality of the helmet across its curved surfaces. They also claim to have a reduced helmet trauma technology that reduces the size of the deformation of the helmet where it is hit by a bullet. So to summarize, the arming of missiles of the BRP Jose Rizal brings the total number of missile armed vessels of the Philippine Navy to eight consisting of two Jose Rizal class frigates and six boat attack Mark III vessels, and the Indian company MKU Limited will be providing over 47,000 ballistic helmets to the Philippine Army. Thank you for watching the video, I invite you again to like and share it, and subscribe to the channel.